Hey guys, welcome back to another Boss Cutscene Compilation Game Boy Advance Edition. This time we'll be playing Minority Report. If you're new to Boss Cutscenes, exactly what it says this. I do the bosses and cutscenes of various games. Disclaimer, I generally use cheats in the not too distant future. Homicidal crime as we know it will cease to exist. Uh, I do. I use cheats, uh, which uh, you just want to see strategies or anything like that. A police organization will be founded to prevent crime before the offense has taken place. I'll finish this after this. They call this organization pre-crime. Pre-crime uses precognitive mutants to see the future. The mutants can predict when a citizen is about to commit a crime before they've even thought of it themselves. For years now, pre-crime has been arresting would-be criminals before they've had a chance. To break the law. Nobody can remember the last murder. The system is flawless. Or so it seems. Unfortunately, the three primary precogs are Not always in agreement. Sometimes a single precog will present an alternative future in which no murder takes place at all. They call this the Minority Report. Alright guys, as I was saying, uh, disclaimer, I generally use cheats, so you're not going to see strategies or anything like that. You're just going to see the cool bosses and cutscenes of these games. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps my channel and allows me to do more videos like this. Now let's get this started and check this out. John a Anderton, you know the drill. Check the precog eggs for the name of the next would-be murderer, then hit the road. It should be just another day at the office. No problem, Chief. I'll get right on it. The precogs see a murder tomorrow at noon in Mall City. The murderer's name, Art Falconer. Oh, Art Falconer, you are under a pre-crime arrest for the future murder of James Tanaka. What? Pre-crime? But why? If you give up now, I'll go easy on you. Ha! I doubt it. You might be here to arrest me, but which one of me? Damn, a personal hologram prism. I'll need to figure out which one is the real Art Falconer. I know which one he is, I just... Oh, now I lost him. Got him. You're finished, Falconer. They'll be here to pick you up any second. You got time for one more, John? Check the precogs. Sure thing. Oh, 
This is predictable. The precogs see a murder this evening in the sprawl. The murderer's name, Jasper Gordon. Anderton? We've got Jasper cornered up ahead. He should be no trouble for a group of us. Pre-crime? Already? Never mind. This charade has gone on long enough. Damn. What do you mean he escaped? I don't understand it. He had an army of hired thugs, and worse still, we lost three officers. Why didn't the precogs warn us of the danger? I don't know, but General Lassiter of the Spec Ops Militia recently offered to help be bring murderers to justice. You get back to work and let me worry about this. I might give Lassiter a call. Whatever you say, boss. The precogs see a murder today in Ingram Park. The murderer's name, John Anderton? How could I be the murderer? That's ridiculous. I didn't even know who Laster was until a few minutes ago. I don't know what's going on, but I'm getting out of here now. I can piece it together later, far away from pre-crime. Right I'm trapped. The only way out is through that window. If I use this jetpack, I just might have a chance. Anderton, stop. I'll never be able to clear my name in jail. I'll just have to jump. Yeah. Oh, is this the boss? I believe so. What's this? Looks like a military vehicle. They shouldn't have been able to mobilize such heavy artillery so quickly. Chief Pollen. Must have called in Laster to bring me in. There's more going on here than I thought. All of these billboards and video screens know who I am. They must be scanning my retina. The only man who could help me now is Dr. Eddie in the sprawl. Unfortunately, the only way to the sprawl from here is back through the mall. Finally, it's not far to the sprawl now. At least those damn video screens won't find me there and Dr. Eddie will be able to replace my eyes. Oh, here we go, boss time. Well, that's a big one. I kept trying to shoot it, but it's like... Try to shoot that little one, too. Thing is, I suppose you gotta destroy his little guys for Here we go. There we go. Bye bye, boss. It's 
Thanks, Doc. Now I'll be able to get back into pre-crime without being recognized. I think it's time to talk to those precogs myself and find out if I have a future. The minority report from the third precog states that I will not kill Lassiter after all. Someone must be tampering with these readings, but how? The precogs seem to be having trouble predicting events related to the military. To clear my name, I think I'll have to visit Lassiter's headquarters in the Jackson Military Complex. The easiest way to sneak into the military complex will be through the sewers. Finally, the entrance to the military complex. Now to find Lassiter. There is no way the people in these tubes were born like this. The military must be using nanotechnology somehow to mutate them. They remind me of that guy. Jasper Gordon? You shouldn't have come here, Anderton. Huh, the precognitive shield must be interfering with this weapon. Never mind, I'll finish you with my machine gun. The precognitive shield? Gotcha. How did you stop the precog from detecting the death of those pre-crime officers? You may have defeated me, but the precognitive shield is another matter. The shield is deep within this building. You'll never reach it. It's quite well protected. You're using some kind of shield to hide military-endorsed murders from pre-crime. How can it obscure the premonitions of the precogs? If you really want to know, you'll have to find Laster himself. This must be the precognitive shield that is blurring the precog's murder premonitions. Let's see if I can put a few dents in this baby. Say bye to your precog shield. Lassiter? The precog egg said you were going to kill me. You know that was never going to happen. And yet now we will fight and one of us must die. Don't you find that amusing? By trying to prove that this was never going to happen, you have merely sped up the process. Give it up, Lassiter. Tell pre-crime that you set me up as a means to discredit them and this can all end peacefully. We both know that's not going to happen. Besides, you destroyed the precognitive shielding device, which would have been your only evidence. Laster. Not the cool Laster from Psyche either. Whoa! You're out of your league. With your death, we will abolish pre crime as a valuable system and establish a greater military presence in the government. Combined with our superhuman genetic altering nanotechnology, the military will be unstoppable. Goodbye, Enderton. Jesus! Okay, he was a lot, uh... scarier looking than he was. You have completed Minority Report. It's all over. You've lost. So kill me. Prove pre-crime right. 
Save your precious ESP detective agency. I'm not going to kill you, Lassner. And I never would. You're going to jail where you should have been a long time ago. So that about wraps it up. I'm okay. I won't be going to jail anytime soon. Which is more than can be said for Lassiter. We won't be seeing daylight. He won't be seeing daylight for many years. And as for pre-crime, well, I guess the future isn't as set in stone as they thought. Nobody predicted that they would be dismantling the organization, for instance. And I never guessed I'd be looking for a new job. Sometimes you just need to let people make their own decisions. And it's nice for once not to know exactly what's around the corner. Alright guys, that was my Nord Report. That was actually a fun little game. That's a fun little uh, beat em up uh, shooter style game. That was actually cool. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I do other boss cutscenes. I've been doing NES. I've been doing uh, Arcade. I've been doing uh, GBA. I'm going to branch out soon into like uh, Genesis, Super, which I've done some in the past, but I'm actually going to start really focusing on them as well. And I also do uh, free independent horror games if that's your jam as well. And until next time, guys, keep up the positivity.